Charleston GOP debate. Democrats are in trouble. Charleston GOP debate. Democrats are really in trouble. Thank you for tuning in to the Black Political Buzz Network, and my name is Laurel. On this blog, I want to focus in on the GOP debate, which was held Thursday, yesterday, Thursday evening in Charleston, South Carolina. So on January, the, on January 14th, which was yesterday, Thursday, the first GOP debate for presidential candidates was hosted in South Carolina in the city of Charleston. I was supposed to be there in attendance due to circumstances. I was not able to make it. It was, it, was not, it was not due to travel expenses or money. I had that. That was not a problem. It was due to something personal. And I regret that I was not able to attend. I'm so sorry. I, my heart was just, oh, my God. When I, when I watched the debate last night, I was like, oh, my God, I should have been there. I was so hurt that I wasn't able to attend. But it won't happen again. It, that, won't, that will not happen again. But anyway, I was able to view the debate online. And just as it was with the debate that took place in December in Las Vegas, they had an earlier session for one set of candidates and a later session for, for, for other candidates. Because the GOP debate, I mean, the GOP uh, presidential pool of candidates is so large that when they have the debates, they have to have the debates, you know, split up. They don't, they can't have all those candidates, you know, debating against one another all at once. So they have one, one set of, one pool of candidates debating in one session, in, in the earlier session, and then they have another pool of candidates debating in the later session. And when I viewed that debate online last night, it was amazing. It was even better than, in my opinion, it was much more focused and unified and much more you know, logical, intellectually, I mean, it was just awesome. To me, it was a better, a better debate than the debate that, that was held in December in Las Vegas. So the Charleston GOP debate was the first GOP debate of 2016. And it was on fire. It was electric. I felt the electricity through the screen. It was awesome. And what, 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 what it showed me or what it, taught me last night or what I got from it was that Democrats are in trouble. Oh my God. Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, Martin O'Malley, even President Obama, Democrat, Democrat party, you are in trouble. You are in trouble. The GOP this time around, they, they, they've got it together. They've got it together. That autopsy that RNC Chairman Rince, Rince Priebus conducted, you remember when, in 2012, when Mitt Romney was defeated by incumbent President Barack Obama, our current sitting president, when President Obama defeated Mitt Romney, RNC uh, Chairman Rince Priebus, he spent money to conduct a party autopsy to see, you know, why they, why the GOP lost, and he took that information, took that research information on his party, and said that he was going to use that information to perfect, to correct, to correct, improve, and perfect the errors of the GOP in the RNC, which needed correcting, improving, and perfecting, so that by the 2016 election, they will be ready. Oh my God, are they ready now? This does not mean, this does not mean that the RNC and the GOP should slow their momentum. No, the RNC and the GOP leaders should not slow their momentum. If they slow their momentum, Hillary will win in November of 2016. But as it stands, if they keep going strong like they are now you, and, and, and remain unified, because during, during the Charleston GOP debate Thursday night, which last night, the, the party theme was unity. The party theme for the GOP was unity. You know, I, I recently uploaded a video. 
and it was entitled the GOP Civil War. The GOP Civil War may cost them the White House. And then last night at the GOP debate in Charleston, the party theme was unity. Unity as in regardless of whomever the GOP presidential uh, nominee is, the party will rally behind that nominee. Because if they have a split, if there is a GOP, if there's a GOP split or a GOP civil war, they're going to lose. Hillary will win by default because Democrats are not on fire for Hillary Clinton. When Hillary Clinton first announced her campaign, her, her bid for president, her second bid for president, when Hillary Clinton first announced her second bid for president and launched her campaign, everyone just knew. She was the heir apparent. Everyone just knew that Hillary was the heir apparent as the first, you know, woman president of this nation. Everyone was, was excited. Even I, I was extremely excited to see her jump in the race again. But since then, it hasn't been that, that electricity and that fire. It hasn't, it hasn't maintained. Hillary has not maintained that voter um, momentum. The voters are like, we, 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 if I've talked to many Democrats in my travels, I've talked to black Democrats and some white Democrats who said they don't want Hillary because they said that they have, if they get Hillary, then that, that means Bill comes back. And even though many black voters still love Bill, I do too. People don't want Hillary back. They don't want her in the White House. They said that Hillary's been there, done that. Just as many GOP voters don't want Jeb Bush. I repeat, just as many GOP voters don't want Jeb Bush. They said Bush been there, done that. Clinton been there, done that. That's why so many voters are on fire for Donald Trump. Donald Trump is new. He's new to politics. He hasn't been brainwashed by the GOP establishment. He's new to politics. Now, in my opinion, this is only Laura's opinion. There were some winners at the GOP debate in Charleston Thursday night, January the 14th. And these are my picks, okay? These are my picks. Donald Trump, number one. Ben Carson, number two. Marco Rubio, number three. John Kasich, number four. That was for the later session. The first session, the picks, the winners, in my opinion, were Rick Santorum, Carly Fiorina, Mike Huckabee. So in the first GOP debate session, in the earlier session, my, my picks for winners of the debate were Rick Santorum, Carly Fiorina, Mike Huckabee. I love Mike Huckabee. The second debate, the later debate session, with the candidates, with, with, with the GOP candidates who have the highest poll numbers in, this, in, the, in the second debate or the later debate, the picks were, in my opinion, number one, Donald Trump, number two, Ben Carson, number three, Marco Rubio, number four, John Kasich. So out of all the current GOP, GOP presidential uh, nom uh, um, candidates, out of all the current GOP presidential candidates, to me, there were seven winners of the, de of the Charleston debate. Seven winners total. Rick Santorum, Carly Fiorina, Mike Huckabee, Donald Trump, uh, Marco Rubio, Ben Carson, and John Kasich. They performed, in my opinion, they performed the best and gave the best answers to the questions. And Fox News did an outstanding job. Kudos to Fox News. You did an outstanding job, Fox News. You did an outstanding job. I wasn't, as I stated earlier in this video, I was invited to attend this debate. Wasn't able to make it due to last minute situations. It won't happen again. It wasn't due to money because I had my money. Had my tickets and all that. But something happened, and I wasn't able to attend, and I regret it, but it won't happen again. However, Fox News, you did a great job. I was so proud. The GOP, oh, my God, you guys are on fire this election. Please keep up the great work. Don't stop, and you have to remain unified. 
You know, I uploaded a video, like I said, you know, uh, uh, earlier. The video that I uploaded earlier in the week was entitled GOP Civil War May Cost Them the White House. GOP Civil Civil War May Cost Them, may cost them the White House. But guess what? During the, part, during the GOP debate Thursday night in Charleston, the party's theme was unity. Unity as in whomever is the nominee, the party will rally behind that person, even if it's Donald Trump. Because if the GOP fights against itself and creates a civil war, they're going to lose and Hillary will win by default. But if they remain unified, the GOP will take the White House in November 2016 because the Democrats are in trouble. There is no voter enthusiasm. I repeat, there is no uh, voter enthusiasm for the Democrats in 2016. There's, just, there's not. Not among black voters, white voters, Latino voters, Wall Street, women voters, veterans, senior citizen voters, low-income voters, middle-class voters. There's no Democrat Party voter enthusiasm like it was in 2012 to 2008. It's not there. However, there is a great amount of voter enthusiasm for the GOP in 2016. And mainly because of Donald Trump. Now, RNC uh, Chairman Reince Priebus, RNC Chairman Reince Priebus, his idea to allow a large pool of qualified candidates, Reince Priebus' idea and strategy, his strategy to allow a large pool of qualified GOP candidates for president was a brilliant idea. It was brilliant. Because look what you have. You've got a, you've got a candidate for every type of voter. You've got a candidate for every type of voter. And last night, Ben Carson was on his game. And Donald Trump, thank you for defending New York City. Thank you, Mr. Trump, for defending the greatest city in the world, my native hometown. When Ted Cruz stepped out there and tried to diss New York City, Donald Trump was like, oh, no, step back. New York is the greatest city in the world. It is. So you have a candidate for every type of voter on the GOP ticket. It's awesome. So GOP, don't become cocky. And slow down your momentum. Oh no, keep it going. Keep it going. Ryan's previous, you're doing a great job. Orlando Watson, you're doing a great job. Candidates on the ticket, you're doing a great job. Fox News, last night that, that debate was awesome. I was floored. I was blown away. Wish I could have been there. But you, you candidates are doing great. Hillary, Bernie Sanders, Martin O'Malley, President Obama, key Democrat leaders, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. So the Charleston GOP debate showed that Democrats have a problem because the, because the GOP, they're ready this time. They're ready. GOP leaders, please don't lose your momentum or Hillary will win. Hillary, you need to get your game up. Democrats, get your game up because the GOP is ready and they're not playing. They are ready for the Democrats this time. In 2012, 2008, in 2008 and 2012, the GOP was caught off guard. But this time, they're ready. They're prepared. Charleston GOP debate means the, Demo the Democrats are really in trouble. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Laurel, and goodbye.